So here we have a number of different technologies that we're using to document the site. Um, we have medium range laser scanning that we're using to get high resolution and very high accurate uh, 3D models of each of the grave sites. Um, we're going to complement that with photogrammetry data, which is lower accuracy, but it's going to complement it with really high, nice color. Behind us we have a medium range scanner that's running for about 10 minutes at a time for each scan. And for each of those scans we get about 10 million points. And for each grave site we're going to do about four scans. So uh, grand total about 40 million points and then when we process that we'll probably uh, be able to cut out a lot of redundant data and get it down to probably 15 million XYZ coordinates. One of the great things about documenting uh, finds when they're still in the ground is that uh, sometimes it preserves a lot of information that you can't take out of the soil. Um, so there are a lot of impressions in the ground that are they're basically just packed dirt um, and those won't be able to be preserved like solid bone. So when folks are working on site like this, there's a fleeting amount of time that they have access to the objects while they're in context. And by digitizing the entire site, uh, in its preserved state, in context, we're able to allow them to pull measurements later in the future. So if, if by chance anything was missed um, in real time, we'll have enough information for them to go back in and get more.